What's up, guys and gals, and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. We're back in the uh, world of HP Lovecraft right now, attempting not to end up octopus food as we run through a haunted mansion, attempting to find more treasures and awesome stuff. That's a giant Cthulhu statue, so maybe don't touch that. These are covered with Lagrasse's notes. I can make out Chateau Hill, built around a stone circle by Lafitte's outcasts. Okay. I'm going to pick up the info over here. A bloody key, an atlas of the ancient world, and the head of, like, a Cthulhu statue? Can I wear a skull? I'm gonna drop some of the skulls and things. Like, I feel like those are probably for a quest. Or they're probably used for something, but I just haven't locked in on what they're used for yet. Like, I don't know if I can leave them over here. I can. Okay, so I'll come back for them if it turns out that they're being used for anything. But for right now, I just don't see the point in carrying them around with me when I'm already, like, strapped for loads and loads of inventory space. Ooh, what's that, a dollhouse? Over here we have uh, Gracious. It's a perfect model of this area with a little model of me in there, too. Let's knock some stuff over. Oh, it actually shook the house. All right, let's maybe make sure that that doesn't catch on fire or anything. Now that we've verified that, what is this? There's an articulated tiny doll of a naked woman with a geisha face paint and black hair holding a fan up to cover her entire face apart from her eyes. As I move the arm holding the fan away, the doll swells and contorts in my hand, becoming soft and pulpy, spreading like a diseased tumor. Reeking of sweat and blood, I throw it to the floor and stamp on it. No, my sanities! Got me over here eating chocolate like a maniac. I'm out here like a chocolaholic. Chocolataholic. I don't even know. A chocoholic? I don't know. Which is the proper way to say an addiction to the chocolates? I don't see anything in there. Got another skull. Then it looks like we've been back this way. A newspaper page that's wet with blood. It's soaked and the print is hard to make out. Declaration, the governor of New York has released this statement. The laws prohibiting suicide and providing punishment for any attempt at self-destruction have been repealed. The government has seen to seek fit to acknowledge the right of a man to end his existence, which may have become intolerable to him through physical suffering or mental despair. All right. Anything up this way? I have a creepy ass statue. And that brought us back over here. And I didn't even pick that thing up. I missed it on the way through. We haven't looked at anything on the left side of the mansion. Oh, weak. Yeah, I'm not trying to get like shot right now. You can stop with that like right this second. A hummingbird in a cage. Such a tiny thing and so beautiful. You regain part of your sanity. Well, that's good. I like my sanity. So, like, let's try to keep it, y'all. Yeah? Let's try to keep it, y'all. Yeah? I like how there's not necessarily, like, every... There's not a monster in every single room that you've got to fight with. I really, really like that. Like, some rooms, there's just, like, a weird curio in there that you've got to look at. And then other than that, there's nothing else to worry about. There's a small mirror hanging here. Looking into it, I see that it's just me. Despite all that's happened, it may still happen. I'm still just me. Hey, we got a little bit of sanity back. Nice. How do I gauge how much sanity I have? Because it seems like I've lost a lot of sanity. What does this thing do? It's got a small hole in the back as though something slides into it. Alright. It's a little... Odd, but hey, who am I? Who am I to make fun of anybody's fetishes? All right, we don't do that here at the Nerd Castle. We're nice people here. We don't do that. There's a giant sapphire amulet right there. I kind of want it. I kind of want that sapphire amulet. I may ditch one of these books or something over here. Like I don't want to get rid of my curse cures.
I'm gonna grab the treasure instead. I'm a little bit addicted to gold, all right? And I want it, and I need it. I'm addicted to loot. See, like, I've even got a song that I sing about it. Oh my god. Yeah, let's, like, not do that. I just don't feel like being shot today. Looks like going left there, man. This is a big house, man. This place, like, never ends. Yeah, let's just waste him real fast before he wakes up and decides to ruin my day with Tommy gun fire. I want a Tommy gun. I wonder if there's a character who has a Tommy gun and I can just fa 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 Ow! Damn it. Wasn't paying attention. And now I've been spiked. Anybody in here? Please don't be anybody in here. A handmade cloth doll wearing stitched clothes would look just like mine. There's a set of beautiful hand-carved pins next to it and a little gap in the dolls seems with some stuffing poking out. Uh, poke the stuffing back in. Yay! I got healed! Huzzah for voodoo! That voodoo that you do. Sam B got them things that go bump in the night. What? Who do you voodoo, bitch? Uh, still the best song ever made for a video game in case you didn't know. There's a sheet of paper here with what seems to be a strange painting of ink splattered on it. To me, it represents how I feel. Seeing chaotic emotions presented to me on paper. I don't know if I can keep doing this. No! I don't want to be more insane. I thought that would make me like... I don't know. I thought it would make me ruminate on the situation and I would get better. Another bloody key and some kind of like anchor. Damn, dude, this place is big. This place is like surprisingly huge. Paper covered in Lagrasse's notations. I can make out Chateau Hill put up his bond for the Bale of Castro, the Bayou cult leader. Okay. I want to know what that is. A silver anchor. Looks like there's a missing piece. Okay. Well, I think we've been everywhere. There's no other doors for us to investigate. And no other chests or whatever that we may have missed along the way. So, I would think we're probably good to go fight the boss, right? Let's head over to that big gilded room that was up here. And we'll see if we can get ourselves into a little bit of occult trouble, shall we? So, maybe like an anchor and that. Hey, it worked. Nice. Hell yeah. The star spawn. Yeah, that doesn't look pleasant. I've got like sort of a bad feeling about this. Yeah, he's like shooting at me. Oh, I can actually like run while shooting. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, let's do that then. Oh, God, more laser cannons. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Now is not the time for laser cannonations. That's right. I can reload. Oh, he does like a little boogie dance when he's shooting at me. He's like, boogie, uh, get down. Fire lasers in your town. I like his little boogie dance. I feel like every bad guy in every video game ever should dance when he throws projectiles at you. It would make me happier. So we've got a golden bug. What does the golden bug do? Teleports you to a random safe place. That's probably good. Is there anything in here that I can make use of? Oh, there's a dead guy. Lagrasse. There are more pages of his notebook stuffed in his mouth. I can make out references to stone circles like this one in various areas around the entire Americas. Also a reference to Miskatonic University. The name's Professor Lake and Professor Armitage. Innsmouth underline and the rest is soaked. In my friend's blood. Now you know of the following greater old ones. Dagon, Cthulhu, and Azathoth. But they didn't bring up Shubby Boy on there. Or the King in Yellow. Or any of the other guys. Uh, this is a bloody lock. Do it. Oh shit, did I pick up an upgrade to my shotgun? 
A police shotgun. It's got way more shells. Oh, the fire rate's way better, too. Hell yeah, man. That's exact. Oh, my God. I'm so happy right now. That's my jam right there. Either you're dreaming or time and space have become mockeries. Your head swims frightfully, even though there are no visible objects in the unbroken gloom to swirl around you. And then, in the far distance, a pinpoint of light expands. The pressure of Earth meets your feet, and you feel gravity pull on you again. The hair on the back of your neck stands up, and you find yourself in a room in which everything seems designed by someone who knows its purpose but has never once used it. Yeah, that doesn't look right. You found new information about the Great Old Ones. Check the board with evidence. Now you have more information. Your chances of victory have increased. Okay. Is this like my home base? Information about the Great Old Ones will help you to not lose your mind when you meet them. Okay, so we've got Nyarlathep, we've got Dagon, Azathoth, Chubby Boy, Cthulhu... All right. Do I have like a bookcase or something around here that I can do with, or did it loot all my books? All right, so I've got a bunch of books. What do I do with those? That would be my next question is like, what are the books useful for? What is this? Storage. So we've got grenades, we've got mines, essential salts. TNT, Molotovs, Golden Bugs. Okay. So we've got a storage space in essence. Apparently I feel safer now. It looks like there's only two interactable locations on this side that I can play around with. But like, I kind of feel like... We should be able to do something with the books that we have? I don't know. What does that do? It's probably not good. Yeah, I'm going to say that's probably really, really, really not good. I guess that was just like a really complicated light switch? Alright, it's a light switch with showmanship, okay? That's all you needed to know. Oh. Alright, well at least we can see a little bit better. Yeah, that's not unnerving at all. Because when I think to myself, like... What do I want to show up in the middle of the place where I live? It's a... It's a giant glowing death portal. I don't know what I do with all this stuff, so I'm just gonna, like, store it and hope for the best. I'm gonna keep all the other stuff with me, though, that has, like, utilitarian uses, like keys or whatever. But all the books can go in there. That seems fine. Like, I've already got $6,000, which in early 1900s money means we're pretty much like rich. What does that do? The Egyptians believe that this will protect you from evil. Oh, we got an ammo belt. Okay, so it increases fire and reload speed. So we got two upgrades right there. Okay. Well... I guess we'll dive on through the portal and hope that nothing bad happens. A hospital much like any other in appearance, but there's an uncanny chill to the white of the walls. The cleanliness seems deceptive. You feel as though you ran a finger under any surface that you find clotted blood festering out of sight and out of mind. Okay. Guess we'll break all the furniture. I am sort of an asshole. Take that. I still haven't found what we're going to be using money for. Like, I assume at some point, maybe we'll come across... Oh, there's zombies. 
Oh, speedy zombies. Okay. What wounded me? I took damage right there. I'm not sure what hurt me, but I'm pretty sure something caused damage. On the plus side, we're already in a hospital, so we should be able to find lots of medical supplies. A bronze lock? I think I have one of those. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. 201 infos. So much better. You see a locked lab door? It needs a code and a key. Okay. Ow! Alright. I learned a thing today. I made a mistake. So you had a bad day. You punched a barrel. It blew you up. Now you're... T I don't know what that is, but I'm going to kill it. Because I don't trust it. Listen, it looks like it's up to no good, okay? I can't help the fact that it looks guilty. Guess I'll throw on a med kit real fast. Yeah, I don't know what you are, but I don't like you. I don't like you at all. It's not like personal. Oh, their blood is poison. That blood is poison. Okay, so they've got poison blood. I'll keep that in mind for the future. Hey, a little bit of chocolate right there. Yup, I would love to have a little piece of my sanity back. Anything else up here? What is that? Oh, it's a storage crate. Interesting. Alright. So I guess I can move things in between like that reality where I equip myself and everything else and this reality? This body's skull is intact. The other bodies had their brain pans open. Perhaps if I reanimated this one, it'd be less violent and I could get some information. Yeah, I wouldn't hold your breath on that one, dude. That seems like a... That seemed like a stretch to me. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to, like, poo-poo your hard work. You know, or, like, diminish your contributions to what's going on right now. But I just, I have my doubts that that's going to be helpful. Like, we've already seen the trouble that seems to occur. Oh my god, what did he just shoot me with? This man just shot me with a giant grape grimace. Okay. I like the fact that we have a lot more ammo right now, so I can actually, like, defend myself without having constantly to push in and retreat. Like, with more ammo and whatnot, it's made this process a little bit easier for me. A little bit more chocolate. Trying to get my sanity back, but... A painting of an icy mountain. It's a gorgeous, stylized piece with chromatic colors. Depicts an icy Antarctic visage with a mightily mountainous glacier at the center with the suggestion of an almost human expression. One moment it fills me with a sense of awe and the next with the sense that we impose upon natural phenomena our own insecurities and preoccupations and I am left with a nagging feeling that perhaps nature itself has a motive or a mind we are not privy to. Alright. Maybe. I say we start avoiding having all these dark thoughts and whatnot, though, and just, like, continue forward. It's kind of like man mode it out. Yeah, I don't trust this room at all. This room is definitely going to try and hurt me if I stay in here. A mechanical device of some kind. This makes no sense. I can't see how it would work. There are cogs standing alone and wires that aren't attached to anything. There's a light bulb that's not plugged in, pipes going nowhere. It's as if a lunatic child looked inside a wireless radio or a clock and tried to make one out of odds and ends. Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Oh my god, there's so many of them. Yeah, we're just gonna have to go straight ham bone on that one. That looks like a crate of dynamite. So I'm going to say that smacking it, hitting it, shaking it, jolting it, all of those, you know, enervated options are probably a terrible plan. I'm 
I'm gonna throw on a med kit real fast since apparently I'm melting. There's nothing inside there, huh? You sure do know how to disappoint me, personal safe. It's an army enlistment sensor taker's journal. It's mostly just a record of the expenses and the list of the numbers of enlistable men in Arkham County. The sensor taker made a note about a few locations, however. The village of Dunwich is described as having young men who are nearly university unsuitable, apparently inbred, possibly affected by toxic substances in the ground or water supply. The town of Innsmouth has a high rate of alcoholism despite prohibition. Apparently, an inherited degenerative disease affects the vast majority of young men, although many unsuitable candidates express interest in the Navy. The town of Kingsport rings a bell. It's had a recent influx of Italian, Sicilian, and Irish immigrants, many of whom would be suitable. And Arkham also has a note, high student population. Okay. A collection of test tubes and beakers. Looks like they're attempting to extract or render down something. The people have wrapped up this thing, whatever it is. They might be unhinged, but they're not stupid. Alright, let's check this cabinet over here. Well, good enough. We got a foot. So, like, we found a spine, a head, a foot, a hand. I mean, we're going to have to refine some of the stuff because I ditched it for other loot. For some reason, there's a glass bottle here with what looks like a tiny baby inside floating in a preservation fluid. I think it moved. Yeah, I would say our sanity is getting a little... A little iffy right now. Uh, yeah, this isn't dubious at all. This isn't suspect in the slightest. A gas mask that will prepare, it'll protect you from poisonous gases. We've got a Tommy gun. Ooh, I kind of want that. We also have Ithaqua's Disinterest. A lock of coarse hair adds partial protection against ice damage. The Sufferance of Shabbath Ka. A jade ring with lightning bolt engravings gives you full electro protection. I focus on the faces of those I love and it restores my max HP. Okay. I can't really afford anything in here. Which I do find to be like moderately disappointing. So like I don't even know what to do with this room, so I'm just gonna break everything. You get the feeling that someone's watching you. Yeah, because there's someone right there inside that bubbly do. He's just, like, chilling on that side, bubbly doing it out. Apparently, I can break those. So, for now, I think that's what I'm going to do. Eh, sneak around to that side, grab a little bit more cash. I'm going to get him out in a minute. I got to loot first, all right? Some things are more sacred and important than getting this guy out of here. Oh, uh, that was a mistake. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done did that. You guys, I think I messed up. I believe it may be verifiable that I just made a bad decision. What else do we have going on in here? Oh, there's more of these things. Uh, if it fizzles, I'm going to kill it. Any other loot in here? Hey, a silver lock. I don't know if I have a silver key. I got bronze, gold, bloody, but no, I don't have a silver key. It's a little bit of a letdown. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Yeah, just like keep shooting. There you go. I'm not trying to mess with any gooey boys right now. Yep, break it all. Luckily, I have enough ammo and the ability to shoot here, so we shouldn't struggle too much with this combat. Alright, let's get the last one. Eh, ah, I've been poisoned. Yeah, this isn't good. This is kind of a problem. I guess I'll take the antidote 
And then we'll throw that on. Why did I get into this? Yeah, like, that's the thing. I probably would have just kind of, like, been like, well, I guess I don't have that friend anymore. Because, like, I don't care how good of friends we are. I don't think I'm going into a spooky-ass haunted house for you. I wouldn't expect you to do that for me. So just, like, you know, if you leave me behind because I go in a giant spooky haunted house where I definitely should not have been, it's my own fault. You know, and I don't blame you. Is that a golden lock right there? Ooh, it is. Yay. Yup. I feel like I probably don't have to do this. But apparently I am. Yeah, just shoot that thing. Just murder it in the face. It's fine. I give you permission. Keep reloading, keep running backwards while firing shotgun shells. Why did you get into this? That's a perfectly good question to ask yourself before you get into this situation. In the form of, why did I get myself into this situation? Is this a situation that I want to be in? I think that might be the last one, but I don't know. Remind me if I find a silver key that we can unlock that chest in the other room too. Because I am a bit of a treasure hound. We good here? Like, I'm sorry, dude. I don't know how to get you out. I'm trying real hard, but... Damn it. And I keep stepping on poison, too. Oh, there's a silver key. Hell yeah. Let's go back over to the other side then and get our treasure. Like, I don't really know how to help this dude out. But I assume he's like another playable character or something like that because it did seem like there were a number of playable characters. Silver lock. Silver key. Nice. Got Noden's conk. We've got an onk. I assume the onk is automatically used whenever somebody tries to put a curse on us or something would be my guess, but I don't know for a fact. I don't think that worked. Yeah, I don't know how we rescue this guy. I'm not sure. Like, maybe there was an order to the switches, possibly? I don't know. Maybe he comes loose. Like, after we do something else, you know? I don't know. Yup, you dead now. You dead now, G. You dead now. That's a poison field right there, but we're out of time. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me for the uh, untold stories out here. I'll see y'all later. If you want to get the game for yourself, look down below. I'm glad you could hang out another time. I do, and goodbye, everyone.